everybody, Queen Bee here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another demo, another Steam Game Festival demo, The Fabled Woods, this one is. Uh, walk the path less travelled and see what secrets hide among the trees. Welcome to The Fabled Woods, a narrative adventure despite the picturesque beauty. Ugly and terrible secrets lurk among the shifting boughs and darkness that no amount of dappled sunlight can erase. Take the first step and experience an unforgettable journey. Wow. So uh, this is an adventure indie game. It's brought to you by uh, the developers Cyberpunch Studio. The publishers are heads up. Due to be released at some point this year. Um, so let's have a peek. Let's have a look at the settings. So we got user interface, language. We uh, hmm. we currently just have English supported. We do have sub subtitles though. Uh, keyboard and mouse, invert mouse, blah blah blah. Audio, basic audio, video and graphics, basic. Um, we're going to leave everything on, on, on very high and epic. Epic. I love the word epic. Um, save and apply. Blah, blah, blah. Brilliant. Yeah, basic, uh, straightforward um, commands there. Right, so let's jump into a new game. Let's see what this is all about. Looks quite interesting. Visitor. What do I say? It's been so long since I've had company. Hello there. What a surprise. Not a lot of folks come and visit these parts, especially in light of everything that's happened here. My name's Larry. I was here in search of my son, William. He went missing years ago while camping at the cabin we had built together when he was a boy. Explore these woods like I once did. I must warn you, however, there are things you may discover that will be difficult or strange to hear. Please listen, so that we all may rest. Do you know the first thing, or the first things that, um, that spring to my mind? Great voice acting. Lovely, like real mellow voice. And in, in games like this, uh, which are really story-driven narrative um, and immersive, um, that makes all the difference. Also, look at this uh, scenery. Look at these graphics. Very, very nice. Everything is on uh, like top settings, guys, for this. Um, now, to walking path. Walking hell. Which way are we gonna go? I think I'm gonna just, just like, I'm gonna explore them both. And this is it, like really eyes open. So I can hear my footprints. I can hear, I can hear the birds. I can hear my footprints, but I can barely hear my footprints. I kind of feel like, I don't know, that's really picky, but footprints would be, um, nothing else up here footprints would be slightly louder and it would just give that that little bit more of um that immersion in this game now that windmill uh water that waterfall is superb if you stand here i can hear the water to my left and the dropping water to my right it's incredible uh, again footprint footsteps could you imagine that with the thunk 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 as you walk across the wood panel the uh, wood wood panels uh again uh, could you imagine that with the thunk, 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 uh, the thud, thud, thud of um, the sound of your feet hitting the panels of wood as you walk over the bridge? That would just 
I would just take it that little bit more um, or take you that little bit more into this beautiful beautiful world so let's um, Our frames have gone back up above 60, which is nice. <laughs> that waterfall, uh, those graphics are. Gosh, well, you're making a little bit of sound, aren't you? Are we going all. Oh, do you know what? That water looks so crystal clear. I do wish we could uh, take a little bit of a paddle in the water. Dip our toe. Yeah, just dip our toe in the woods, uh, in the water. That would be ah, oh, we feel so cool. It's a lovely summery, warm sunshine, and you just dip your toe in it. Ah, oh, that would be that would be a nice addition. Devs, let us go paddling. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. Torch, sleeping bag. What's we've got? Backpack, is there anything uh, written on it? No. Okay. Um, can we get into it? No. It, it literally is just mouse point and click, isn't it? So maybe, uh, maybe that's that's all we need to do with that. I'm sorry, life has become such a mess. Hmm. Okay, so those everything's been knocked over. Got hooker, fork, oh, blood. L oh, oh, and a rock there, a bloodied rock, like somebody's been. What are you doing? Let go of him! Leave us alone! Stop! Stop! Oh my god! Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was quite, that sent some chills through me actually. <laughs> I'm supposed to be talking to you guys and narrating um, and commenting as I go through this, but yeah, rendered quite speechless actually. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, jeebies. This water everywhere. Seems to be so why did you do this? Huh? Where is William? What did you do with him? just wanted to find my son.
Oh god. What is this? Is this the campfire? Thought it was William for a minute. Oh. God, this has me on edge. It's so disarming as well because it's so beautiful. And then, bang! Kill all. Right, so, oh, we're at the cabin now. Okay. So, is this us at the cabin? Wait. Does these seem like. That was at the uh, site, wasn't it? Maybe that's just general. Right, so we've got. Oh, we've got. Oh, we've got a jerry can. I'm not going to put that up yet. Kill all. Um, we've got a ball. We've got a hammock here. Just going to look at. Look around a bit before I pick anything up. Can we, can we open this? Can't. Can't do anything with a barbecue. Oh, look at it. How nice is that? Okay. Right. Sweat-resistant insect repellent. And there's the, the gasoline. Fire brings people together out here. You understand. When the chores around the cabin were done, William would always beg to get a fire going by the river. Of course, it always started out as a much larger fire than we needed for our little pit. Nothing to distract you. No worries, guilt. We were at peace with the world. Cigarettes in there. Hmm. I am liking what I am seeing, guys. It's very, very, it really sucks you in. Very immersive. But if I am, if, if, if I was going to say anything to draw you even further in, footsteps need to be louder. Things like uh, that. I mean, I. So, you can't hear your footsteps on the wood on the bridge, but there is some wood over there by the cabin. I didn't check, didn't like clock whether. Yeah, you need a proper thunk, thunk, thunk as you walk here. Can we get in there? No. So. Down here, fishing spot. more to explore oh yeah and do you know what I'd really really love if we could like take this in and have a little a little paddle have a little paddle on the water in the canoe just like I mean yeah you might be here trying to find out what happened to William etc uh, to William et al but um, doesn't mean you can't have a nice canoe that would be cool. That would be very cool. Right. Oh. What's that? A key. Ooh, cabin key. Okay. Frying pan. Any blood on the bottom of that? No. Good to know. <laughs> sun cream. Should never leave sun cream out in the sunshine. Good no. Right. Binoculars beer. Swine brew. 
That refreshing taste of pork. Have you ever found yourself feeling like you're being watched? I swear it on my life, as I was fishing right here on this lake, there was something watching me. I grabbed my binoculars to take a look, but I saw nothing. It felt like something was staring right at me. I know bears roam these parts, but this was not a bear. Whatever it was, I got the sense it did not want me here. <laughs> Why do I play these kind of games? My hackles are starting to rise. Before I go in the cabin, I'm going to just check out up here. And it's probably going to tell me that there's stuff that I need to do. Ah, just a rock. It's quite a steep climb. Yeah, more secrets to learn. Um, do you know what? I keep going to press the shift button so that I can run. Like, I could run down to the cabin. However... I think it works quite well that you're just ambling along cautious all cautious like in here now yes the place feels so empty without william but it's held up well over the years seems like a blink of the eye since we were last here together Okay, so what can we look at and what can't we? There's another backpack here. The lantern is on. I'm going to leave it on. Ooh. Walkie talk is scissors. Bloody. What's that say? PKGP EGP. Flashlight. Another key. Spare room key. Okay. Okay. Lanterns are on. Cigarettes. Super mild cigarettes, charcoal filter, quit smoking now. Oh my god, can you see that smoke? Did you see that smoke? There was smoke, guys. There was a puff of smoke. Somebody has the lights on. Yeah, there's puffs of smoke coming from this. Look at it, there. Yeah, oh my god. Somebody is, like, he's very close. Light beer. Light. Grandpa's Walker blended old whiskey. Looks like he jumped up in a hurry. Sent the chair flying. Hey. Look at this garbage. They were laughing at me. Told me to go back to the cabin and stay out of the sun for a bit. This town has had too many disappearances over the years. The police couldn't even find my son. It isn't safe out here. They need to be warning the people not to come into these woods until the disappearances have been solved. There is something happening out here and no one will do a dang thing about it. Such a shame. Okay, so eccentric and reclusive, reclusive hermit claims monster sighting by Chris Gord, Daily Read correspondent. Despite there being no leads to the recent disappearances, a well-known local recluse claims to have solved the case. Our source reports seeing the man, Larry, 
on one of his rare appearances in town pay a visit to the local police according to the witness Larry was ranting about a wolf-like creature that he claims hunts among the trees and had menaced him on several occasions. I can st oh, I can see that bloody smoke there. Um, it is understood local police are not pursuing this as a serious lead and we have yet to receive comment from Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster as to whether or not they too have, been paid, a have paid a visit to our little town. <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Gosh, right. Anything here to pick up? That, oh, we've got a gun on the wall. Can't pick up. That's a shame. Knives. I do wish I could pocket one of these knives. It would make me feel a little bit. I mean, is it smoke? It's see these little wisps everywhere can't we I don't think there's any need for us to pick any of these things up but two that, that. nothing up there of interest Uh, hmm. Pick all these things up, we can't light the fire. Can't pick up a fire poker, which would be incredibly decent right now. Oh my god, we've got more stuff here. I'll turn that one on. Oh, look at that. Okay. What is that? Hey, okay, torn up newspaper by the looks of things. Nothing in there. You ever see something and just get a real sense you shouldn't be where you are? That bottle you're looking at is what started this whole mess. Turns out mine wasn't the only cabin out here anymore. Next to that cabin was a cage, but it wasn't empty, and it weren't no bear. It had fur, gray and black, like a wolf, but it also had skin, rough, like a man. I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. I grabbed this bottle, hoping it might help me figure out what was going on. Resocinol, detective, equipment, explosive. Health hazards, caution, response to discharge, corrosive, lozenge. So I don't know how that would help him figure out what was going on, but uh, but apparently, seems like he uh, he likes his uh, his liquid amber, no, his alcohol, Mississippi straight bourbon whiskey, champagne. Brands nectar, what's that? Hot dog buns. What's that? Patriot America's double barrel double like bourbon whiskey. Wish we could use flashlights. So we've got cooking utensils. Wonder if they're just supposed to be like dust and not actually um smoke. Right, should we should we venture upstairs? Can we get up there? Hmm, I don't know because we've got a spare room key, haven't we? But go check out the other cabin. Spare room key, what's around here then? Spare room. Hmm. 
Hey, how do we... Oh, there's a door there! Good God, I'm such an unnuts. Ah, no. No, that's not good. There's more blood, guys. More. Oh, my. Oh, shit. Was that there when we first came in? I don't think it was. <gasps> Oh, shenanigans. More cigarettes, super mild. An empty bottle of whiskey. Water. That wood. Axes. Leave these open. Yeah, that's that's I'm leaving. I'm gonna go and see. Whether we can get away from here. I'm not comfortable being in that house. Ooh. There's still more secrets to learn. Of course there is. Hmm. I can't get up here. Box there. Yeah, we can't get up there. Turns out that machete weren't much use, was it? Sorry you had to see this, but you can't see the whole puzzle unless you got yourself all the pieces. This is where my story ends, but yours carries on. I was never able to find my son, but I know he's out there somewhere. He would have followed the path up the hill. There's a clearing just on the other side. Follow the river till it ends. That should get you there. Though I would dearly love to follow, I can go no further than this, as my spirit is stuck here in this cabin amongst the trees. Go now. There are more stories to be told, more secrets waiting to be discovered. Succeed where I failed. Maybe then we can finally rest peacefully. I don't want to go up the hill. Wait, frankly, it scares me. Okay, come on, let's get this done. Oh my god. He was killed then, was he? Getting dark out there as well. But he is as well. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful though. Look at it. Look at 
a waterfall. That must be the end of the demo. Is it? I came here looking for oh. my son. There are no animals here, but there are bones. Something's out there watching me. Why won't anyone listen? It doesn't make any sense. Why was I so stupid to trust them? The bones were everywhere. Like the body was torn apart. I just wanted to find my son. Well, I like it. It's a very immersive, very beautiful game. Really good voice acting. Um, and uh, yeah, that it's just a point and click game, but it's really, really good. It's really good. Um, and it looks like the storyline is going to be very well written from what I can see. Um, twists and turns. And yeah, really gripping. I'm definitely looking forward to to the rest of this coming out um the only thing that i would i would say is that i'd love that like the footsteps to be a little bit louder i'd love to hear the the sound of walking on wood um which sounds really weird the wind rustling we hear the waterfall we hear the the birds chirping um and flapping their wings but i'd love to hear the the wind rustling through the leaves um in the trees that just those couple of things the footsteps and the wind would just take this all the way um because it's so so close to being there um if if those two things were added that would make me super happy bunny um wonderful game really good good demo great demo this is available on steam for demo during the games festival which is uh, lasting for four days so I'll pop the link in the description if you fancy uh, having a look at this, do go and download it. It is only available for four days uh, during the festival, so don't hesitate, go download it. If you've liked this video, please do take the time to click the like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. Don't forget that, um, don't forget that you can also join me on Discord. We have a community growing on there community gaming nights, just friendly banter, gaming news. Hop along and see if you like it. Go check out The Fabled Woods and keep an eye out for more demos coming on the channel over the next few days.